guys, I'm Sean Calloway and I'm the new product manager here at Anzo USA. And today we're going to be installing tail lights on a 14 and up 4Runner. So we've got these available in three different styles. As you can see here, there's chrome, there's the standard black, and then we have the black with the smoke outline. So let's take a little bit closer look at what we have going on. Okay, so right out of the box, what you'll notice is, is you know, if you have the black ones, it, it is a black housing with a crystal clear lens. So these, this outline here will be a running light. Then we have a sequential turn signal. Then we have our brake light and reflectors, along with the reverse right here. We have the side reflectors all right here. And then on the back side, it is shipped with these covers on the screws. So these you'll just twist them and take them off. And then we have our connector for our running light and then the stock connections to transfer over the stock components from the light, as well as a resistor. And we have body locator pins here and here and a foam gasket. Tools needed are a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a 3 8 ratchet, a 3 8 extension, and a 10 millimeter. Okay, so to remove the stock tail lights, we only need a couple tools. It's gonna be a flathead screwdriver, which is what we're gonna start with. And there's a panel right on the backside, and there's a little notch cut out. It's where you could slide the flathead in and just pry it open, and it pops open. From there, we'll use our 10 millimeter socket with an extension and a 3 8 ratchet. So to remove these, just go right here. Just pop this panel open like that. We'll take our 10 millimeter right there. And right there. So once we have these loose, we just use our fingers so we don't drop the nuts. off to the side. And now we can remove the tail light from the vehicle. Okay, so now we're ready to remove the tail light. Uh, all we gotta do is, what I normally do is I just grab down here on the bottom edge and up here, because we have to release these two body pins. So you just want to shimmy it back and forth and pull outwards until it comes, just like that. We'll disconnect this. And now we have to transfer this harness over onto the new light. Okay, so now the next step is going to be to swap the harness over to the new light. So let's set the new light off to the side a little bit. And it's very easy. So all we're going to do is grab this gasket and just pull up and it'll come right off. They do have a little bit of glue around the edge, but if you're gentle with it, you won't tear the gasket. So we'll just put this off to the side. Now we have one Phillips screw right here that we do have to remove. And I like to put pressure under it with my finger. That way it comes straight up and you're not stripping anything. Just more as a precaution than anything. And we'll reuse this on the new light as well. So we'll pull this off to the side. So now all we gotta do is untwist the connectors and pull the harness up. And twist the reverse bolt. And this one right here, you just push on the tab and pull directly out. So now what we're going to do is we are going to remove this turn signal bulb right there. And on the new light, we're going to do the same thing, but we're not going to pull the gasket all the way off. We're going to leave the resistor fed through it and we'll just flip this over to the side like this and just install it right back in reverse order. Twist that in, install that, 
take the connector and install that there. This will slide right on to here. Click in. I'm gonna feed this under here. Right into there. So now what we're gonna do with this is there's a black and a green wire here for the turn signal. So we're gonna locate the black. The black is on this side of the connector. So we're just gonna line those up and push them right in until it clicks. Then we'll feed it back into the housing, twist it in, and then we're gonna take our screw that we pulled out to hold the harness down. And just screw that right back in like that. Next, we'll just line our gasket back up. All around the edge, we do have these pinholes to line them back up. Now we're ready to install the tail light. Okay, so now we're ready to install the tail light and that's just as easy as removing it. So we'll just go ahead and plug it in. And line up just give it a good push that way it snaps in on the body locator pins and then we'll put our screws back in and check out all the functions